Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Today, I'll be talking about the basics of the program LaTeX, some of its history, and how to install it on your computer and get started with it. So you may have wondered, how does the Worldwide Center of Mathematics write their textbooks that have all, that have all these mathematical formulas in them? If you've ever tried to use Microsoft Word to write any sort of mathematical formula, you may have, for instance, wanted to throw your computer through a wall. <laughs> the answer, of course, and how we get around the difficulties of such editors as that, is that we use, again, the, pro the program LaTeX. Now, while LaTeX may be incredibly powerful and have all sorts of versatility, it's actually completely free and open source. And because it was written in more or less the 80s, you can run it on pretty much any computer nowadays. Before I tell you, but before I tell you how to get started with it, I'll, I'll tell you some of the history of it. So LaTeX actually stands for Lamport Tech where Lamport, Leslie Lamport, was the programmer and mathematician who created it in 1985. Tech, spelled tau epsilon chi, was created in 1979 by a uh, famous programmer and mathematician Donald Nuth. Now, as you can see, I said chi and not x uh, for the x, for what appears to be an x, rather, uh, because this t te chi is the abbreviation of the Greek word techni, uh, spelled tau epsilon chi nu eta, uh, which is, means both arts and crafts and is where the word technology comes from. That's why I'm pronouncing it tech and not tex. Because this is a chi, the actual uh, purest, in a sense, way to pronounce, uh, to pr to pronounce it, that uh, Donald Nuss says you, could, you should use is tech, uh, where the ch is kind of like the one found in loch or bach. Tech was created in, again, 1979 by Donald Nuss as a sort of way to, um, a, a program by which uh, people could, could produce um, beautiful and having lots of complex mathematical formulas, books, uh, without needing to resort to existing uh, and often quite expensive uh, framework surrounding typesetting and typography. LaTeX was created in 1985 as an extension of tech by, again, Leslie Lamport, uh, which, which improved tech's capacity to include user-defined commands and user-defined packages and basically just included lots of ways of extending tech's functionality. So in order to get started using LaTeX on your computer, you're going to need both LaTeX itself as well as a text editor that is well suited for manipulating LaTeX files because LaTeX files, .tex files, are put into the LaTeX program, but the LaTeX program doesn't actually help you write those files itself. So because LaTeX is open source and uh, the editors for it are also open source, there are, quite a diff there are quite a lot of different versions of these programs. For an editor, my preferred version is Tech Studio. And for the distribution, because uh, of the complexity of the program itself, there are different versions for different operating systems. For Windows, I prefer the MicTech distribution. For Mac, the MacTech distribution. And for Linux, if you don't already have a version of Tech installed on your Linux operating system, Tech Live. All of these have their, their respective websites linked in the description. So you open up Tech Studio and you get a screen which looks like this. And at the start, we'll open up a new document with the new document button. You can also go to File and hit New Document from there, or use uh, co uh, Control N or Command N or whatever is on your operating system. Now, to start, we want to be able to tell LaTeX what sort of article uh, or what sort of document rather that we're making. So you use the Document Class command. Uh, in this case, Document Class Article, just because there's uh, <coughs> doesn't really matter what, what, what kind we use. So the Document Class command, which begins with a backslash. Uh, tells LaTeX uh, what, the, what the properties of this document are going to be, what the uh, default font size is, what the page size is, what the margin size is, et cetera, et cetera. It begins with a backslash, which denotes all commands, and its argument article, with the name of the document class, is enclosed in uh, angular brackets. Now we begin the document uh, using the uh, begin and end document uh, environment limiters. Now we're, we're going to put some stuff in, and uh, I'll explain it all once we've compiled the document itself. So, hello world. And here we have some mathematical statement. 
uh, e to the pi i plus 1 equals 0. So once you've made your document, uh, you go to File and Save As. Uh, let's call it Hello World dot Tech. You don't actually need the, the uh, dot tex at the end, which I'll tell you in a bit, uh, because uh, the program will just put it on the end for you. That's what all LaTeX files uh, have to be. So we'll save, and now we can compile the file using the compile button. So there, as you can see, this makes it into a PDF, which is displayed both in the document, or it, rather in the program, and also you can find it as hello world.pdf where you saved it. We're zooming in now because uh, we didn't tell it to make it a particular kind of document that has a huge text size. So as you can see, the hello world is interpreted verbatim. The program interp interprets plain text as plain text. As you can see, the space between the hello and the, and the world is preserved, as is the single line break after the hello world, but not the second one. So you can put as many line breaks in between your paragraphs as you want without making that many line breaks appear in the, in the output file itself. Now the mathematical uh, output, the e to the pi plus 1 equals 0, that's in math mode, which is denoted by the dollar signs on either side of it. The e, as you can see, is in italics, as opposed to the uh, upright e right above it in the hello, and the same, same with the i. The pi and the i, uh, sorry, the, the slash pi is a command uh, that causes you to write the Greek letter pi instead of the letters pi. There's a space between them in the input file, but not in the output file. Math mode doesn't preserve white space, so you can uh, put spaces around everything. And there you have it. You now know how to make a basic LaTeX document. Thank you for watching this video in our series, So You Want to Learn LaTeX. Click here to view other videos in our series. Click here to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new Center of Math videos. And click here for our website, which has more math resources, including a catalog of our textbooks, which are all, as you may know, written in LaTeX.